Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial and today we'll be making a tool for Android similar to this. Um, basically it is just an ADB tool. Um, ADB is known as Android Debug Bridge. It it's a it's a um, it's, an, it's a communication um, utility to communicate with Android devices via USB cable. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. First thing you want to do is of course, start a new project. Windows Forms application, of course, name it all you want. Then the tutorial, you, you will notice in the description of the video, there will be links to um, the ADB files and the actual source code file, my um, form one C sharp file. Okay, so now we just want to modify the UI bit. <clears throat> First thing you want to do is add. Uh, actually, I'll quickly change this. Okay. First thing you want to add is two group boxes. You can make it how you like. I'm just making it like this as an example. So we have two group boxes now, one is for A to B, one is for fast food. Want to add a rich text box. Okay. First thing we want to do now is change this to console. We'll change the name of this to console because in my code I'm referring to this as console. Um, if you want to make it look a bit nice, you can just add console here. It's just a text. <clears throat> Anyways, back to this. We'll rename this one. Actually, no, we'll just change in, um, the text of it to ADB commands. And this one, fast boot commands. Okay, now I want to add, uh, let's see, I'm gonna add, um, let me go check my design, sorry guys, I forgot, which way is tutorial, this is going somewhere around here, oh, don't worry, anyway, <clears throat> first thing you want to do is add a button, two buttons sorry one on each side and a text box in the middle okay we'll change this button to just change the text to browse changes to Install APK. Okay. Change this one to. What can we change it to? I've got the code here, so I just want to make it easier. We will change it to APK text box the name. Okay, now we've got that, that, that done. Go ahead and copy this. Let me copy it about three times. Okay. Let's go review the code. Back up and zip. Back up. Side load. So we'll be adding a bunch of features like this. It's pretty simple, basically. It's not too bad, but you know, I want to put sorry more buttons down here. <clears throat> Changing um, the text of this one to 
break it. This one. Change to recovery. And this one to bootloader. If your phone has um, download mode, selecting um, reboot to bootloader will actually boot into download mode. We'll change the name of these two text boxes to um, backup text box. Move check. Sideload text box. This into sideload text box. Yeah, I know there's a lot of modifications in this. It's basically all the UI that's a problem. If there wasn't so much work to do with the UI, well then it'd be much simpler. Right, now what we want to do is add two more buttons down here, but the fast boot. Uh, we'll leave that one as reboot and we'll change this one to unlock bootloader expand it till that fits okay now i want to copy this i think it was four or five times down here so we can remove this one as well we don't need that We can copy this five times. Might need to expand the form a bit, depending on your um, depending on your setup, depending on how large you have the objects. Okay, and that's it. Okay, first one I want to do is change this to zip. These are the flashing options, by the way. This one to system. This one to data. This one to recovery. And this one to boot. Almost there, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to change this one to um, the name of it to slash uh, zip text box slash system text box slash Data text box slash recovery text box and slash boot text box. Okay, we are done for. UI. Hold on a sec, I'm just going to change this to control. There you go, make it white. Oops. Yeah. I won't do that. Okay, we'll just leave it like that for now. I can't be bothered, bothered fiddling around with it. Alright, so now what we want to do is. Right, we'll click the browse button on this. I'm going to actually. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste code. I'll explain to you what it does as we go through it. Alright, so this is a, the browse um, the browse button for the APK file. Basically, we create an open file dialog, which is just the dialog that pops up when you click browse. Um, we filter it by only allowing it to select APK files. This is just setting the title. Um, this is just checking if the dialog result is okay, and then we change the name, um, sorry, the text of the APK text box to the file name, and that's how this one here is how we're going to pass it to the install button. Okay, 
double click on the APK button. Um, install APK button, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, what well this does is... Oh wait, sorry. This is what we forgot. We need to have two things using system import and airport and using system diagnostics. Okay. This line creates a new process. <clears throat> uh, this line creates um, start info. These lines actually just um, they just um, stop the form. Um, a command window from opening or anything of the sort. Don't worry about that. This line is important. This line redirects the standard, the output of um, the command to. Uh, how can I explain? It basically turns out the output of the command into a string. So if we execute that, any errors or whatever, it'll be stored inside the standard output. Here, console text. Actually, now we'll keep that in capitals. Well, I'm going to go back to my form and just rename this with capital C. Just that, so it'll come up. Sorry about the code, guys. I know it's pre coded. It seems like a bit of a cheat, but yeah, it's not really. <clears throat> okay, now after the commands run, if there is any errors, it appends it to the console text box, which is. This little thing here. Um, these two lines here, this start info file name, that is just um, setting the program that we want to run, and this is setting args for that. I'm not going to explain too much about it. Um, it's just like it, you, you can do the same in CMD. Um, this is equivalent to typing adb install and then the file name here, where we've got our string. Okay, so that's literally all for the commands. This is the exact same thing we'll be doing for every single one of these. So I'm just going to go through, I'm not going to explain much more. Because we're doing the exact same thing. Backup. Actually, I'll explain the backup quickly. It's different. Okay, the, the backup button creates a folder browse dialog. Why a folder browse dialog? Um, <clears throat> because I couldn't figure out how to do this. Uh, I, I didn't know a stable way, a stable method, so I just chose this way. Basically, it, uh, you get to choose a folder, and in that folder, it automatically, um, like when you click backup, it'll automatically create a file called backup.ab inside that folder. So yeah, we're just setting a folder here instead of um, instead of setting an application like a, or a zip file like up here. <coughs> The backup is the same thing as the rest of it. Just creating a new process and running it. Okay. Next one. Browse for that. It's a pretty easy tool to make. Um, this is for beginners. Absolutely easy. Like, it seems like a lot of code, but it's not really that much. And the code you do use is actually, it's very repetitive. Just don't leave the video just yet because I've got to show you one more thing before you can actually use the application. Um, including the main utilities. So you wouldn't be too happy if you try running the application. It doesn't work if you don't have the utilities. Uh, just standard ADB, um, the ADB executable. Um, the ADB libraries and the fast uh, the fast boot executable. You see how easy it is. It's basically just copying the same thing. The only thing that changes from a few of these commands are the arguments of this, like the arguments here, and there. They're the only things that change. The only thing that's different. Halfway there, I'm not sure how long this video is going for. Might not be like my usual 15 or 20 minute videos, but it still works. 
and he's learning. And creating something fun. <clears throat> Alright, here is exactly the same. We're into the fast boot part now. The only difference is um we are calling the fast boot uh the fast boot executable instead of the A to B executable. So yeah, it's literally basically the same. It's pretty fun to make and then it takes I can't even I can't even I can honestly sit here and make this in about five minutes I think without having to, having to explain anything. <clears throat> okay, now here's a bit different. You notice we don't have a browse um, button. Basically, what happens is, as soon as you select the button, it's going to flash straight away. As soon as you select the file. Okay, so we create an open file dialog. Don't worry about that. Flash. Flash the text box. <clears throat> right, basically we create an open file dialog, we filter it for zip files because that's what we need to filter it for. We only want the we want to be able to open zip files. Um, then it checks if it's okay and then it flash it basically executes this straight away without having to click another button. So that's basically the same for the rest of them as well. The only difference is in this one, we are filtering for image files instead of zip files. Right here. See? Image files, not zip files. And here. This one is exactly the same as well. The only thing we change is the args. So you notice here it says flash system. This one says flash data. Up here, this one just says flash because that's the command to flash is it for. That's why. <clears throat> Last two. Nearly done. Last one. <clears throat> And we are done. Okay, now you want to run it just for the fun of it. Got to build our here. Sorry, this is just because um the last one that I made, like I made a sample before this, just to get this video, like to find out what I need to make this video. Um, yeah, it was just wrong. Okay, now we can go ahead and start that. Here to show you the program. That's that's what it'll look like. You can modify it to look however you want. Okay, <clears throat> now we want to go to our Solution Explorer and open. Do an open project folder or something. Open folder in File Explorer. That's what we want to do. So that's our. Um, this is where our program is stored. You double click inside bin. Um, we're programming in the debug mode up here. If it's if you're programming in release mode, it'll be inside the release folder. But we're going to click debug, and this is where our program is. All right. Now we want to copy these four files. I'll have them. I'll have these files stored online. You can just download them and just drag and drop them into your debug folder. So we're back in our debug folder. Paste them in there. If you want to package the application, you only need these files, like your, whatever your application is called, um, the fast file, the two eight, uh, the two ADB libraries, and the ADB file. You can just go ahead and add to our drive, or yeah, and all the files. We can still run the, we can run the program like that now. We don't need to actually use Visual Studio, but that's a fully functioning program. Thanks for, um, thanks for watching the tutorial, guys. Uh, like, share, and subscribe for more.